what's going on everybody this is d car lady coming at you all right today welcome back for another episode of the attraction marketing formula all right where we're taking and giving you guys an in-depth explanation even for beginners so that you really understand attraction marketing and understand understand the formula that it entails now this is episode three so if you've missed episode one and two you definitely want to check the links below so you can uh, go ahead and get caught up on that now if this happens to be your first time on my channel welcome all right and this channel is all about the three m's of entrepreneurship all right that is the mindset the marketing and multiple streams of income baby so if that's what you're into then you're definitely at the right channel go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can be alerted next time I come out with some content because I'm definitely bringing it to you guys every single week all right so let's go ahead let's get to it So what you're about to see is actually a live one-on-one -on -one coaching session that I did with one of my coaching teammates named Donna. And what we did is, you know, basically going in depth as it relates to the attraction marketing formula, right? Showing you from the beginner standpoint. And in this particular video, we're diving into the very first part of the formula, which is called a build, right? Which stands for building your audience. So I encourage you to definitely take out a pen and paper, take some notes, right? And watch this all the way through because I don't only just, you know, um, state what building is, but I show you how to do that, how to build your audience using attraction marketing on Facebook. All right. So you definitely want to pay attention to this. So let's dive into it. Now you've got to build, engage, and sell. Yes. If we were to take build. Just okay. Build. Okay. All right. If we were to take build, what, what steps are in build? What right. steps? Okay. All right. Build. Let's take the steps of build. Okay. And we need to use a particular. Let's use for ease of use. Let's use um, network marketers, right? Because okay. actually, that's the audience that you're um, you're um, looking for at the moment. Like I said, your audience may change down the road, but right now, I know your audience is other network marketers like myself, right? So let's take the build first. We think about okay, if we want to get other online marketers, network marketers, affiliate marketers, um, in our on our Facebook profile, we know we need to get make them our friends. We know we need to be friends with them, and we need to engage with them too, right? We need to you know get on their um on their list. So okay, cool. How can we find them? And I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell you exactly what we're taught to do inside of MLSP. I'm not making this up. Like and this ain't no oh I put my own spin on it. This is exactly what they told us to do, and it works. Here's an example. You go to um, the, the leaders, like, uh, let's say, I'm gonna tell you somebody I've done. I've done Russell Brunson. I've done, uh -huh. I've done Russell Brunson. They tell us to go to uh, Eric Warre. All right, they tell us to go to uh, Tony Robbins. Right. And I might be spelling his name wrong, but y'all know Tony Robbins, okay? Tony Robbins. Now let's understand. And I might be spelling this wrong, so y'all be quiet about my spelling. But now let's talk about why, so that you understand the why. Because once you understand the why, you're going to these pages, and we're talking about the um, Facebook biz pages, so that everyone can know, right? Now, why are we going there? Because once you understand the why, then you will come up with a lot more people. Is my point. So let's let's talk about why are we going to their pages? Because if my audience is other network marketers, online marketers, right? Who do they? care about listening to who are they already listening to they listen to the russell brunson's yeah listen to the eric warways because he's the top he's one of the top people in network marketing they're listening to the tony robbins they they, they love that mindset they're actually listening to bob proctor they're listening to bob proctor he's doing with mindset they're listening to these people so think about it if Think about it in like, let's take it from the offline service so you can see this and like how you can put it in real life. If, let's say you like, you like eating pizza, 
right? That's just, you know, you grew up eating pizza. I'm not going to necessarily say Italian because I don't know pizza is Italian because, you know, you know, I don't know. We might have made that up. But let's just say pizza is Italian, right? Let's just say it is, right? Okay. And you love some good old pizza, right? And let's just say Pizza Hut is Italian pizza. It's not, but let's just say, okay? Then you love pizza, but you're not really good at cooking, right? So you're more likely to go to pizza shops because you love pizza, right? So if people, if, if somebody wants to find a whole bunch of people that also like pizza, they're going to go and hang out at the pizza shop. Pizza shop yeah. Let's say, um, okay, here's an example. Let's say you have a weight loss supplement, right? That helps people um, block carbs. Let's say, for example, that block carbs, right? And I mentioned that because pizza has a lot of carbs. Regular pizza dough has a lot of carbs, right? So you have some supplements that can really help people block carbs really well, right? You're like, well, where are all the people who got carbs? Okay, well, wait a minute. What food they eating? Because carbs, is, you know, carbs just comes in food. Well, I know people who eat a whole bunch of pizza, right? And what if your, your product is called carb pizza blocker, right? Just saying, right? So it can be kind of tailored to that niche. You want to go to these pizza shops. Let's say you got a local business and you want to pass out flyers about your, your carb your yeah. car blocker or supplement, right? Why would you go? You tell me you're going to go to the pizza shop or are you going to go to the car shop? Now, mind yeah. you, I know you got a carb, you got carb blocking, carb blocker supplements that you want to sell locally. You want to get the the word out about your business, right? You're going to go and pass out some flyers, right? Because we took it and taking this offline so you can understand. You're going to go to the car shop to talk about some car blockers, right? Make, 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 car make. Blockers, or is you going to go with these people gobbling up cars? You're going to go with they gobbling up cars. Exactly. Because these people are more likely to need you than these people. These people like, exactly. my car picks. like nobody, ain't nobody like, can you shut up about your car blockers? I'm here to get my car fixed. But here, they like, well, damn, I do love pizza. And what? I can still eat pizza and take this car blockers? <laughs> I, I mean, think about that. Well, damn, you know, well, yeah, I might do need that flyer. Thank you, ma'am. So it's the same process online. Same process online, right? <clears throat> we say the people who are like us, who, you know, we like network marketing, online marketing, affiliate marketing. What do we do? This is some categories you look for. One, you look for uh, the leaders, right? You look for you look for the leaders. Okay, that's a category. Leaders. Here's another category: tools. Tools that those people use is another category, right? Then you can think about the emotional, like the things. There are things that people who work online go through that some people who work right and i say some i'm not saying it right but some people who work at regular nine to five don't go through yeah for instance yeah. when we work online and, and and we're entrepreneurs right we go through a lot of self-doubt because we we can't depend on if we sit down at this computer then as long as we sit here and type away for eight hours that we're going to make eight hours times twenty dollars mm -hmm. When we go to a job, we can. If they say we're going to make 20 it don't matter if we sit there, type, and they don't make no money. They said we're going to get paid $20. They didn't need to pay me anyway. But mm -hmm. online, it's different. It ain't a guarantee. So then you go through, when you don't see the results yet, meaning the money, right, you go through a lot of self-doubt. Yes. You go through like, damn, what am I doing wrong? Yeah. Right? Damn, did I buy this product and it's a piece of crap? Man, when am I going to see the money? So when you, if you already know what you go through, then you say the people who I'm trying to service, they're just like me. So they're going to go through it too. So where are they likely to go to get some inspiration to help with that self-doubt? That's where you have self-development, mm -hmm. right? So you deal with what, what, what the mental, what type of mental stuff they got going on. What did, what did they think about? That's what you got. Bob Proctor will be dealing with the, the mental. Right? It's a category though, because there's more people who do right. mindset than Bob, but it's a category. Tony mental, right? Now some of these people will be in different categories, but Tony will be mental. Eric, network marketing. Russell, tools. So when you start looking at the categories, 
of things that will matter to you, if they matter to you and you are in alignment with your ideal audience, right, meaning they're going to be an extension of you, then it is a, a higher chance that they're going to have those same problems and need those same tools, yeah. those things that you do. So you go to these Facebook pages, this pages, right? Go to these Facebook pages and people are going to be commenting on those pages. They're going to be commenting because these people post, right? They post on their business page. These people are going to be commenting. Other people are going to be commenting. And what you do is you go and you check those profiles and see if they are people that you want to friend request. You go to those, those posts and you follow people. You do the follow method that we're taught to do inside of MLSP. But that is a strategy of how you build the right people. You build the right people. That is a strategy that we're actually taught that exact strategy inside of MLSP. So those are the steps that come under build would be leader tools. Right, leaders find other leaders that are in that same industry, right? Tool. Network the tools that the people in that industry, what tools do they use? I know that people in the network marketing, online marketing, affiliate marketing, I know that one of the tools that people use is click funnels. Yes, yeah. Russell Brunson owns click funnels. He owns click funnels. Okay, he's the face of click funnels, so therefore I'm gonna go to his page because he got a whole big old tribe. A lot of people follow this dude. I know that with mental, because as, like I said, our, the things that we go through mentally are going to be a little bit different than the nine to fiver, right? It's not saying they're worse or bad. I'm just saying it is what it is. So who do they need to listen to, to get uplifting mm -hmm. when they want to get uplifted, who they're going to listen to build their incentive. Yeah. I see. Right? They're gonna, for, to get their mental, right. They're going to mm -hmm. listen to people like Tony Robbins. They're going to listen to people like Bob Proctor. They're going to listen to people like Grant Cardone. 10, the 10x rule for Grant Cardone, I probably listen to that at least like twice a week. Like I got the, the audio, right? I got it uploaded. I got the audio on my phone and I listen to that. And it's like 10 hours, so I never finish it. You know what I mean? But my point is I keep listening to it mm -hmm. over and over and over because I always need to uplift my mental. Because entrepreneurs, that's what we have to do in order to stay in a positive vibration because our vibrations could change like that. So we always gonna have to be in that self-development stage, always. So these are just some of the categories that we will be thinking about, right? And I'm sure there's other categories out there, but these are the ones that I've identified right here, some of the categories. So you go to those biz pages on Facebook and you start looking at who's commenting, right? And who's liking and who's hearting, because you can see all of that stuff. Right there on Facebook, you can see it. And you yeah. see the name, right? And then you look at their profile and see if there's someone. And let's let's go on so from here. What do we do once we're looking at that person's profile? Once we see some people commenting, right? What are we looking for in that profile before we know if we want to send them a friend request? Because not everybody on there is going to be someone you want to send a friend request to. So let's talk about what are we looking for to send people a friend request? What are we looking for in a friend, a Facebook friend? Does that make sense on why we're going to that stage now? Yeah. All right. So once we find this page, like, let's do this. Let me see if I can share my screen on here so you can see what I'm talking about. Let me see no, if I, I can. I, I, I see what you're talking about. I see. You see what I'm talking about? So yeah, it's 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 so obvious. Okay. Oh, she said it's so obvious. Right. But, you know, on some real it's stuff. It's obvious now that you've pointed it out to me, you know? 100%. I would, have never, I would have never broken it down like that. But you know why I can break it down like this? Because MLSP broke it down. Yeah. yeah. I, di I didn't do this before. Yeah. I was I was like you, like, well, man, I know I need to send some friends because they just said, you know, meaning they, meaning other trainings or other people just said you need to be adding friends. They didn't break it down to where I get these friends from. So I would add friends haphazardly because I didn't really have a direction on what type yeah. of friends to add. Yeah. So I wasn't doing this before. So my audience was staying real stagnant. <laughs> okay. So once I learned it in MLSP, I said, oh, it makes sense now. It's obvious once you learn it. And that's why I tell people when I'm talking about this training, I tell people, look, man, don't expect no, um, no, no, no bells and whistles because it ain't what you thought. That's not what you need. What you need is simple, right? 
but you just don't know it because you don't got a bits of pieces here, bits of pieces here, bits of pieces here, and you don't got misdirected here because people said this that was totally lay, way out of field for people who are just starting. So now let's get on to right when we got um because we were going somewhere with this when we got the people yeah, so under oh, build under build we had that and now what do we have under engage right no we didn't finish on the bill because remember oh. I said what we need to do is to figure out which people. Right. Once we have we once we have located where these people are, like we went to Tony Robinson's page. Right. What are we looking for on their profile to know if they're the ones that we need to friend request? Mm -hmm. Let's look about that, because you don't want to just be referring to request everybody just because they're on Tony Robinson's page. Tony Robinson, <laughs> Tony Robbins page. Right. You don't want to friend request everybody. So what are we looking for in that friend request? We're looking for things like how active they are. Right, we're looking for um, types of posts. All right, and I'm gonna tell you what I mean by that. Activity, we're looking for people that are active in on Facebook, they're actively engaging on Facebook. Like, is the last time, like it's, it's what, it's, it's, it's what, it's March now, right? It's March. So are these people, is the last time that they posted something on Facebook, was it December of 2019? That ain't the one. They're not active enough. Uh, we don't. You. We don't need to be like, yeah. Well, maybe they didn't post, but till December nineteen. But um, two thousand nineteen. But maybe they had something else they had to do, and that's why they didn't post. Who cares? We're looking for the most likely people to be interested in what we're talking about. Let's just be real. And there's millions of people on Facebook. We're going for the people who are more like, more like, more likely to say yes to us. So what I do is I look for people who have been active within the last, I would say, max three weeks. That they posted some at least within the last three weeks. Then the type of post you want to look at, are they putting up stuff that you will be okay seeing coming down your timeline? For example, are is everything they put up about uh, politics? Yeah. And you're not going to look at it. And I want you to understand, you're going to look at this from a business standpoint. People go at this stuff and they try and take it too personal. Right. Stop taking it too personal. Like, well, yeah, I like the fact that everything they post is about X, Y, Z political person, because I like that political person. Right. That's not helping your business make any money. You can still love that political person. You can mm -hmm. donate to that political person's campaign. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if you want to make money on social media, yeah, right. you, better you need people. to attract people who are more likely to buy from you. Yeah. And just because they like your a political affiliation, yeah. ain't got nothing to do with whether they're going to buy from you. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Right. So you may say, you know what? That's all they got to talk about. Mm, might not want that person. Me, if I see a lot of political posts on that person's page, I won't friend request them. So that's a no for me. Um, if they're talking about a lot of a, a lot of religion, and I'm going to tell you why, yeah, yeah. it has nothing to do with my re religious affiliation. It has right. to do with is my ideal audience right now. If I'm if I, you know, and we're talking about network marketers, right? But if my, if if what I'm talking about, if what what I'm trying to what I'm trying to help people with, what I'm trying to serve people with, right, is religiously based, then that's different. But the ideal audience we're talking about is network marketers. So if all they're talking about is religion, that's not in line with what I'm talking about. It doesn't matter that I can totally agree with whatever their religion is. Totally agree. Right? Yeah, you all them up and exactly. All them up and be their friend. That ain't got nothing to do with Facebook. Yeah. Because you're running a business. People try to make this stuff too personal. Another one, um, uh, gender bashing. This is another one I look for. Yeah. That's a problem. If, and I take it both ways, meaning mm -hmm. if I look at a profile and there is women, like it's a woman's profile, and every other post she's talking about a dude this and yeah. a dude that <laughs> and men this and men that. That's gender bashing. And yeah. vice versa, if it's a guy, every other post he's talking about women this and women that and women this and women that. That ain't gonna help me make no money. Right. I don't. So it's it's no for you. It doesn't matter if I agree 
with what they're saying about the other gender. It doesn't matter. That ain't gonna help me at all. That might actually bring my vibrations down because you're bashing people. So it's a no for me. It's a no for me. It's a no for me. So this is what you're looking at. What's a no for you? What's going to have uh, the most likely person, right? That's going to actually in enjoy your content. Because here's the deal. When we're looking at these, you want to look at, and is what I'm going to be putting on my profile, is, does it look like from what they're posting, does it look like what I post going to help them? Does it look like it? If they're posting all political and I post none, it might not help them. There's a lot high chance that what I'm posting ain't going to be what they want to hear about. So let me go find somebody who I have a higher chance of helping. Yeah. Yeah. If, if what I'm posting don't got nothing to do with religious, right, or religion, right, then it's a high probability that what I'm going to be posting is not going to help them. It's not going to help solve a problem for them. So let me find somebody that I have a higher chance of helping. I don't need to try and, like you said, be a pioneer and go recreate this stuff. Right. I don't need to go out there and say, you know what? Fine, I'm going to create, I'm going to change up my whole scheme, my whole content and everything because I want to help with them. You <laughs> help people that you are aligned with, with your content, and there's plenty of people that are aligned with whatever niche you're in. Stop trying to go against the grain um, and, and be a pioneer and just rework this whole thing. Yeah, I right. rework this whole thing. When what's there works if you learn it and do it, right? Same thing with gender bashing. If I'm not going to do a whole bunch of gender bashing, and if this is what they're posting about a lot of, and if I'm not going to do that, then I'm not really going to be able to help them much because I'm not going to engage with it. I'm not going to be over there agreeing. So now they just saw my timeline. Because I'm not yeah. going to engage, they're not going to engage with my stuff because it's not going to be in line with what they want to talk about. So why we even Facebook friends? Just saying, why we Facebook friends? And you want to talk to them that, that bad, call them up. Say, hey, can I get your phone number so we can talk on the phone about gender bashing? Right, exactly. <laughs> okay, so these are some of the things that I look for. I look for the activity um, and I look for the type of post that that person mm -hmm. is putting up, okay? And these are, like I said, examples. Obviously, there's way more things that you can look for, but these are starting points because these are things that I use, right, when I'm deciding if I want to add someone. I personally don't look at um, uh, nationality. No. Now, but I'm going to tell you why, okay? I'm going to tell you why because it may not be what you think, right? It has nothing to do with, oh, well, some people look at nationality and that's being – you know, prejudice or whatever. It ain't got nothing to do with that. It got to do with the fact that the things that I can, I have to serve people with, they cross all borders. That's why I don't look at nationality. Like it's okay. You know, their nationality. I do look at language though. I do look yeah. at language and I'm going to tell you why. Is it because I have something against people who don't speak English? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I actually be trying to speak, you know, Spanish and I actually took um, French in school and I actually took Latin in school, right? It has to do with the things that I have to offer solutions with. Like, I don't is anything in, in Spanish? And they damn sure ain't in other languages. I think I got one thing that's in Spanish, but the most of it is in English. So how am I going to be serving them? Think about this. How am I going to serve them if the language that they speak isn't English? Yeah, it's a language barrier. That, right. That's, that's doing them a disservice. That's doing them a disservice. Mm -hmm. But if I had, you know, solutions, like if some of these things that I bought, you know, cross the language barrier, like, hey, we can find this in French. We can find this in, you know, in, in, in German. German. We, we can find this in all these different languages, right? I don't even know if German is a language, but I know French is, okay? Um, then definitely so. So it's not personal. It's business. Mm -hmm. if I can't mm -hmm. serve them. Then what is my, what is the purpose for me being on their timeline? Why they? Why am I gonna waste their time and I can't serve them? Because I I don't I, I don't speak no languages and the stuff that I have doesn't mm -hmm. talk in that language. So it doesn't have to do with the fact that they have different languages. It has to do with the fact that I don't have anything to serve them with properly. So before people are like, well, they they might be, you know, all of their stuff is in Arabic, you know, but maybe they have a grandma that speaks this. 
I'm gonna go find the people that's posting in the language that I got. Yeah, exactly. That's why. So, and I needed to clarify that because people take this stuff personal. Yeah. This is very personal. Okay. So now you know how to actually build. I gave you action steps, literally, on how to build. And of course, anybody can watch this replay. That's literally how I built. Literally. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's actually how we're taught to build. I actually went a little bit more in depth with some of the, the, the um, criteria, right? But that's what we're taught to do to build, okay? Well, now, one thing, okay, one thing I learned from that, I learned from that is the Facebook. Um, what did you say? The Facebook part of this. You know that I have a problem with that. And what what part do you have a problem with the Facebook part? Tell me exactly what you mean. Like, be a little bit more specific, because this is Facebook. But friend, request. friend request. What about friend request? When you go went to a certain page, you look. Oh, okay. You say okay. You said that that was that was part of it that you were having a problem with. Yes. Now I now you've clarified that. Now I know what to do. Oh, and that's what I'm talking about. That's what this is for. Yeah. That's what this is about. Clarity. That's what when we have our monthly coaching sessions. This is why I try and you know I don't try. I tell y'all like yo show up. I can't make y'all show up. I ain't even gonna try and make you show up. But yo I'm like yo y'all know it's you know what y'all know what it's gonna be. Show up. Because this is the type of clarity that you can get when you show up, right? Because something like that, now you will start being able to do that build section because you can't do the engage and sell properly mm -hmm. if you don't do the build properly. Yeah. Some of it is that simple, right? Well, all right, guys. After watching this episode of the Attraction Marketing Formula, you should actually now be able to go out right now on Facebook and start building your ideal audience and these are going to be people who are most likely to be interested in what you have to say be interested in what you have to offer and sell to them now this is just episode three of this attraction marketing formula uh the series that we're doing this whole series is a total of six videos so you definitely want to make sure you check out there probably be some links below or maybe on the end screen um check out the rest of the video so you can really catch it from episode one so you can gain that 100 percent clarity so that you totally understand how to do this and start crushing it in your business now of course you guys you already know i definitely want you to go ahead and crush that first link in the description so you can go ahead and come aboard with me and start working with me right i want to work alongside you all right to help you start getting uh more leads more sales in your business within the next 30 days that's the goal right so hit that first link in the description if you want to go ahead and start working with me and of course i will have the link to the next episode uh the next episode of course will be number four i have a link to that as well somewhere down in the description so you can make sure that you follow along in this series and get all of the knowledge that i'm bringing to you guys now if you have found some value and I hope you have if you are finding some value of this series of the attraction marketing formula in-depth uh, explanation for beginners then definitely like the video share it out to your friends and definitely subscribe to my channel right and of course you already know crush that bell baby so you can be alerted the next time I bring out this content to you first and foremost other than that you already know this is the Carletta, baby, and we're going to take this ride to the top. All right, and we out.